Well, he just kind of picked DPS for He's like, yeah, Chaser, that's the one. Where are you going? Hey guys, it's Bro You Whack. Welcome back to another spectating bronze video. Today I broke out the green screen, which means I don't know what's behind me. It could literally be anything. Probably something sus. Thanks a lot, Editing Zach. Hey, you're welcome. Hey, you guys know how this series works, so you guys send me your bronze level gameplay. I spectate it and I critique it, but mainly I make fun of you. Consensually. Everything's always consensual. But ladies and gentlemen, today is a very special day because we have somebody coming after my crown as the best bronze player in Overwatch, which is not a crown that you want to have. The homie Blaze decided to bless us with their Doomfist level gameplay. Now, here's the biggest problem with this series is that when you guys send me bronze level gameplay, if I also play at a bronze level with the hero, it's hard to critique. I'm not a good Doomfist player by any stretch of the imagination. I think you guys know that. But what I do know is what you're supposed to do as a Doomfist, which is like half the battle. It just takes the mechanical skill. But since you're a bronze level Doomfist, you're probably not going to be rolling out. And you're probably not going to be focusing the enemy back line, which is the two things that a lot of bad Doomfist players do not do, i.e. me. Here, here we go already. You're, you're already wasting abilities that you... you you don't need to be uppercutting like Mario just to go forward. Just go forward. Did you just try, Did you just try to do this punch, rocket punch the Pharah, and you got away with it? They're not punishing you? This is definitely bronze level gameplay. I always struggle or I'm always scared that they're, they're going to be sending me like grandmaster gameplay with them just sucking. But yeah, I can definitely tell that you don't really know what you're doing. You're going after the tank. You know what you're going to do? Not going to kill in the tank because they can outlive it. Stop going after the tank. Go after that yummy mer that yummy mer don't I saw you eyeing that fair. No, go after the beautiful purple-haired healer. How are you missing? I mean, I should be asking myself that whenever I play Doomfist, but that's the problem. That's probably the reason why you're going after the D.Va and the Reinar. It's because they're easy targets. But you know what they also have? A bunch of health that the healer's not going to be healing. What do I know? I'm not a Doomfist player. You're the best bronze player according to your message that you sent me. So what do I know? Go after the tanks all you want. But as soon as you hit silver, hoo -hoo, no one else is probably going to be focusing you. <laughs> See that? You almost missed the Symmetra. See, that's who you should be going after. The Symmetra, the Squishies that can't defend against your big, brawly, muscly, tasty Doomfist fisting. Don't go after the... You had a Baptiste right there. Why are you go? Did I did I not say do not go after the tank? Cause what's gonna happen? You're gonna get focused. So your team's dying. You shouldn't be making any investments, and you definitely shouldn't be focusing the tanks. Like what? What was your plan? Like, just just get out of there. Don't focus the the Reinhardt that has his boys with him. Your your Roadhog. No, please don't. Hello, Actually, Bozo. Please do. Please kill the Mercy. How do you miss the Mercy with the single? Is she was right there in your little paws, and now you're playing Tracer. Yeah, if, if one flanker doesn't work, just play another flanker. I mean, I don't know why you would play Tracer. They have a Pharah and a Symmetra. Not really the biggest counters for Tracer, but you don't really counter them either. Why aren't you playing someone that's more long range, like McCree or Soldier, to, I don't know, take out the bird in the sky? Also, why did you recall? You got the health pack. Oh, this is not good. I can tell you don't play Tracer, but you just kind of picked... DPS really like, yeah, Chaser, that's the one. Where are you going? This is the perfect example of just using abilities just to use them. Yeah, sure. 1v1 the fair in the sky. I don't know if you have a mercy, but hopefully you do because you're not gonna be taking out a pocketed Pharah. You do you do you honestly play DPS or are you just like, yeah, sure, why not? I'll play DPS. Yeah, never mind. You play DPS. You're now a Faramay. Screw it. I don't know what you. I don't know what that tracer was. That was your flop era. Do this. That's that <laughs> takes work. Never mind. You're still in your flop era. <laughs> All right. So are you gonna pick Fair again? Okay. You're still on the Fair. I mean, if n now would be the time to switch on to your other hero that you main in DPS. I never understand the people that say, yeah, I main Tracer and Torbjorn and Widowmaker and Zenyatta and, and Soldier Sammy. It's like, no, no, you don't. You're familiar with them, but you don't main them. All right, so your, your team is once again dying. Your goal is to shoot either the Mercy or the Zenyatta. Mainly the Zenyatta because they're... Wait, no, that's your Zenyatta. I'm getting the colors mixed up. Your goal is to shoot... Just, just shoot the Mercy. No, oh, the Mercy's not going to be able to take you. Fly on the ground! How about that? Instead of shooting the Mercy, how about you learn to... 
to just fly so you don't get earth shattered on Sphera! Or just stand on the pillar and sleep catwalk! What are you doing, buddy? All right, so it's 66 percent ultimate charge you're not really doing it you got one lucky kill uh, on the Farah. i don't know how you did that i don't even think you got anything else see see where the batista's standing that's kind of where you can position yourself as Farah. if you're running out of jet fuel which does not melt steel beams you can just do a little dance Be careful when you get in the enemy's face i'm not saying you gotta shoot from far away but if you do you're more protected so yeah this is kind of what you should be doing dancing around the pillar hoping that they don't shoot you I mean, they're not really shooting you because you're far away and you have things in between you. So you're close on your ultimate. Let's see what you're gonna do. You should focus the Symmetra because she can't kill you. Don't go after the right. You went after the wrong. You got. You got a kill. You got two. You got one kill. You got Farah got more kills. What's go that Farah is way better than you. At least you're getting kills. Are you gonna be able to catch the point? Kill the Mercy! Thank you. I was about to say if you let that Mercy res one, that's kind of your job to take her out. Ooh, we're gonna have some problems. Don't get earth shattered again. Please get on get on the the cow on the pillar. I don't know what you call that. The pillar with the platform. Stay there. Do not. If you're running out of Jeff, you'll just stay there. Dance around. Don't get that little. Yeah, you probably get the health pack. I'm getting so excited. I forgot it's two CP. You're probably not gonna be able to capture it anyway because your team got one death, which is just a death sentence to not winning on two CP. You, you have 60 seconds. You're halfway to an ultimate. I still don't think they play, they're they playing hit scan. Yeah, they're definitely not playing hit scan. You've been killing this Pharah in the Pharah 1v1, which is awesome. Probably feeling good about yourself. Guys, I'm doing my job taking out the Pharah. Well, what are you going to do here? We have a nano run. You're booping them away. Don't really know what that does because you probably ruined that Rhino's charge. But maybe you're going to do something. Not really. You're hiding. You're scared. You're scared. You should be on the catwalk platform. Still don't know what its name is. And you're getting kills, but you're losing still because the enemy team is just respawning and you got shot. Not by the McCree. Wait, that's your McCree by the Pharah. I'm so confused with these colors. I don't know why when I spectate, it's not blue. Why is it red? Okay, so you have 10 seconds. You're probably going to be the one that has to go and touch. You're at 84%. Probably not going to get an ultimate. But you see how you're doing damage from far distance? If only you did that all the time. Oh, that was so... That was a beat. Sweet air away. You touched it, but you died. But you got to do your job. I, I mean, hey. Last second, you got to use your ultimate. Not much to critique there. Shoot the Reinhardt shield. Bring it down. Helps the team out. But I don't think that was your plan. I think you just panicked and used your ultimate. <laughs> All right, so now you're playing Torbjorn. But just quickly going back to the last game. What, what was that tracer? I'm still confused what that tracer was. Dual Fist, all you gotta do is just learn the rollout spots for every single map. Good luck with that. If you play Farah, get a Pocket Mercy because you're just like me. You probably will do better with a little bit of heals and support. And now you're playing Torbjorn. Play far and back away, especially with your turret, because, well, the turret needs surviving. You need survivability. I didn't even know you can get up here. From here, teach me some. What the dog doing? What? You're looking at it too. What the, what the turret doing? It's like having a neck in yours. I'm like, ah! <laughs> you're probably looking at this turret. It's like, oh, I definitely got to keep this one alive, bro. <laughs> You gotta shoot the enemy. Let the turret do its work. If it loses health, so what? I mean, it's worth more of your energy and effort to just shoot the enemy than it is to, like, rebuild the turret unless the round is over. Which, I mean, you killed the Mercy. The round's not over. Don't be spending so much time on your turret. Do you really not have confidence in yourself? Just a little squeak. I love this skin so much. Have some confidence in yourself, boy. Don't always work. <laughs> it's just... It's just... Dude, it's so funny. <laughs> All right, so you're 1v1ing the Mora and Mercy. I would say don't 1v1 them, but I mean, there's no tanks around to scare you. What? Yeah, there is. Actually, there is. Where'd that baby diva come from? And are you actually gonna die, baby? You're not gonna die. Of course, you use your ultimate to try to 1v1 a baby diva that you still can't get. I still am surprised that you knew that spot. I didn't even know that spot. But I also know not to die by a little hamster boy. For whatever reason, the enemy team has... Okay, they finally started contesting it. I would say it's still winnable, especially with your Torbjorn Jizz, which is, for any underage people, that's just the ultimate for Torbjorn. Here, there's a baby diva. Yeah, yeah, squirt it on the baby diva. Maybe not the hamster. We're gonna have to call PETA on you real quick. You gotta kill some. You killed the Symmetra, but you died. You should have maybe just focused it on somebody. If you're gonna jizz on somebody... 
Can, can we just cut editing Zach? Can you just cut that? Cut, cut that. If you're going to Torbjorn an Ultimate, because again, we can't have it rated porn here. We gotta keep it rated R or at least PG-13. Uh, you got a secure kill. You kill, secured one, one, but you just kind of spray it all over. I Me mean, personally, I just kind of focus on one hero, and then that usually means that a moth is drawn to a flame or, or, or spunk. And they also burn too, but again, that's also coming from a non torbian player, but just a little, little food for thought. So stay a little far back. You, you don't need a front line. That, that's your biggest trouble. You, you did that with Doomfist. You did that with Tracer. You did that with Feyre a little bit, even though you kind of front in the sky. Stop frontlining as Torbjorn. If you have long range, use that to your advantage. Get back! Get back right now! Do not chase that! I know you want to chase that Hammond. He's so, so yummy. What is... Don't do what that Symmetra did. See how you took out that Symmetra? That's exactly what you're doing, but the enemy team's just so bad that they're not taking you out. So this is where you should be, okay? Stand your ground right here. The enemy team's got to come to the point. Why are you not frontline? See that Hammond? I mean, the Hammond's just doing Hammond things, but don't, don't be frontlining. See how you get a first all access pass to healer? When you're right here, you have no heals. They're not gonna come to you and you're gonna blame your healers or the ham is just gonna continue to do ham. Why? What? Go back to the point, bro! Go back to the point! The Diva's bombing! The Hammond's are doing Hammond things! The Orissa's. Well, that's your Orissa. I'm still getting colors mixed up. Just tell the point! What were you doing there to begin with? I just wanna know the thought process of a lot of bronze players. It's like, yeah, I just wanna stand there because it looks pretty. It's like, yeah, your gameplay is not as pretty. See, this is kind of what you should be doing focusing a big clump of heroes. But stop. Frontline! I know you were you were coming on, um. Us. But just stop front. See how that Symmetra's frontlining? Don't do what that Symmetra. Don't do what that Symmetra be doing, okay? What did I just say? Stop doing what that Symmetra be doing and get back! That tor that okay. Do some basic max. 600 or 250. Yeah, see, you almost you almost die. I'm covering the hell, but you almost die, buddy. And you're still one you still have the confidence! Now you have two bit BP takes on you! And all you got is a little tiny beep. Turret. I hope you die. Please, like, you are so, you are so lucky that the enemy team is not good at focusing. Because you should be dying. Yes, I'm covering the health, but you can just see the, the, the redness and the things. And now they're, they're punishing you for being out of position because you didn't have a good defense. Oh, God. Oh, you have your jizz. Are you going to come on Symmetra? No, you're going to come on the other E-Girl Diva. Oh, just a little squirt. Just set a little squirt towards Mercy and Symmetra. You're getting killed, man. You, sh you should be dead three times. Go frontline now. Yeah, go get that Mercy. You want to frontline so bad, go kill. Thank you for at, le at least frontlining and getting the kill. Is that a spot that I don't know about or something? Because, like, I don't play Torbjorn enough, but I don't think underneath the troll bridge is where you place the turret. I mean, maybe, but I also like to place it high and away on that little catwalk platform on the, on the pillar. Pause on this motion. Yeah, what is the t the turret shooting the teleport? I didn't, I still am surprised by that. That has to be some sort of like meta strat that I am unaware about. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Okay, Symmetra's anti. Focus Symmetra. Thank you. Anytime is Symmetra's anti. But you're you're dead, buddy. You're dead. You didn't front line, but the enemy team just they just bulldozed you. Sorry, you should have gotten more ticks on the attack. They got one lucky push, they got all you, and you died, you lost. All right, so as a, as a bronze player, you know, your aim wasn't that uh, horrendous. I mean, the turret definitely helped. If you're a down bad bronze player, play Torbjorn, but it just seemed like you didn't know when to use your abilities and positioning. Positioning was truly terrible. So if you're gonna play Doomfist, Flink all the way around and don't focus tanks. If you play Pharah, stay in the sky. Tracer, don't play, don't play Tracer, and Torbjorn. Yeah, throw your turn in the back so that you can stay with it as a little little daddy figure and so that you don't get killed. But anyway, guys, let me know if you want to see some more bronze level gameplay. If you're going to play Doomfist, please show me some good roll spots because I, I, I also need it too. But I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come and bye.